welcome back children the next topic is factorial notation so what do you mean by factorial notation the product of first n natural numbers 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into x up to n that is product of first n natural numbers it is denoted as n factorial or factorial n look the notation like exclamation mark ok this is symbol for factorial hmm? so what do you mean by n factorial it is the product of first n natural numbers so what is 2, uh, two factorial that is 1 into 2 hmm? like that so what is 1 factorial 1 itself 2 factorial means 1 into 2. What is 1 into 2? Two? 2. Now what is 3 factorial? 1 into 2 into 3. That is 6. 4 factorial? 1 into 2 into 3 into 4. That is 24. 5 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. That is 120. Then 6 factorial. That is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6. That is 720. So like that. So what is n factorial? It is the product of first 10 natural numbers. If it is 8 factorial, up to 8 you have to multiply. Then here there is an exceptional case that is 0 factorial. 0 is actually not a natural number. This factorial is defined only for natural numbers. 0 factorial we have to take as 1. Otherwise most of the result that we can't prove. Okay. So this is an exceptional case in mathematics. 0 factorial you have to write as 1. Now this n factorial that means 1 into 2 into 3 into up to n. What is the number before this n? n minus 1. Then before that it is n minus 2. Okay. So this n factorial the same thing I can write as n minus 1 factorial into n. Is it correct? n minus 1 factorial means 1 2 3 up 2n minus 1 then into n that is same as n factorial or this n factorial I can write as up to this much I can take n minus 2 that is n minus 2 factorial into the next numbers what is the next number n minus 2 the next number for getting next number you have to add 1 for getting the preceding term you have to subtract 1. So, n minus 2 that is up to this much. Then into n minus 1 into n. Here there is no factorial symbol. It is the number only. And here n minus 2 factorial. So, look this n factorial itself we can write in different ways. Okay. For example, suppose 8 factorial. What do you mean by 8 factorial? 1 into 2 into 3 into 5, 6, 7, 8. Isn't it? The same thing I can write as 5 factorial into 6 into 7 into 8. Is it correct? 5 factorial means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Up to that much you have to multiply. 1 into, 3, 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. Into 6 into 7 into 8. That is same as 8 factorial. Or I can write as 5 factorial into 6 is same as 6 factorial into 7 into 8. Or another way I can write 7 factorial into 8. Like that so many in so many different ways we can express this 8 factorial. According to the question only we split. Okay. So, I hope this you understood. Factorial notation means 
the product of first and natural numbers that is denoted as n factorial or we can read as n factorial or factorial n so 1 factorial is 1 2 factorial 2 3 factorial 6 4 factorial 24 up to this much you can by heart hmm? 5 factorial is 120 and 6 factorial is 720 0 factorial that is an exceptional case that is taken as 1 then n factorial that we can write in different ways one is n minus 1 factorial into n the other way is n minus 2 factorial into n minus 1 into n or n minus 3 factorial into n minus 2 n minus 1 into n okay so you can refer this now questions evaluate 8 factorial so just you have to calculate what is 8 factorial 8 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 6 into 7 into 8 up to 6 6 factorial is 720 isn't it 720 into 7 into 8 56 and you multiply what is 720 into 56 0 43 0 0 4 0 3 2 0 that is 8 factorial okay now what is 4 factorial minus 3 factorial is it 1 factorial no 4 factorial means 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 that is same as 24 24 minus 6 3 factorial is 6 that is 18 or you can do as 4 factorial minus 3 factorial 4 factorial is same as 3 factorial into 4 minus 3 factorial 3 factorial is common taking out 4 minus 1 3 factorial is 6 6 into 3 that is 18 ok so, 4 factorial minus 3 factorial that is not 1 factorial that you have to keep in your mind that is not 1 factorial it is 18. Compute 8 factorial by 6 factorial into 2 factorial. So, 8 factorial means 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7 into 8 but it is difficult to write all these numbers isn't it we can cancel this then into 1 into 2 so the easy method is 8 factorial here 6 factorial so 8 factorial we can express as 6 factorial into 7 into 8 by 6 factorial so it is easy to cancel hmm? this is little bit difficult then into 2 2 factorial is same as 2 2 and 8 cancel so what we get it is 28 here also we get 28 but writing all the numbers is difficult so always you try to express like this one by six factorial plus one by seven factorial is equal to x by eight factorial then what is the value of x one by six factorial plus one by seven factorial if this is equal to x by eight factorial so here also we use the easy way that is 7 factorial we can write as 6 factorial into 7 then 8 factorial we can write as 6 factorial into 7 into 8 so in the left side 1 by 6 factorial is common then 1 plus 1 by 7 6 factorial into 7 into 8 6 factorial 6 factorial cancel 7 into 1 7 7 plus 1 8 8 by 7 is x by 7 into 8 7 and 7 cancel so what is x 
cross multiplication 8 eights are 64. So, x is equal to 64. Evaluate factorial n by n minus r factorial when n is equal to 6 and r is equal to 2. So, just you have to substitute the values n factorial by n minus r factorial n value is 6 6 minus 2 factorial that is 6 factorial by 4 factorial and how to cancel that 6 factorial is 4 factorial into 5 into 6 then 4 factorial so it's cancelled so it's equal to 30 okay children don't cancel if it is 6 factorial by 4 factorial then this 3 and this 2 3 factorial is 6 6 by 2 is 3 totally different answer so don't do like that we have 6 factorial by 4 factorial so express 6 factorial as 4 factorial into 5 into 6 then cancel this type of cancellation not possible also the normal subtraction normal addition that is also not possible 4 factorial minus 3 factorial is not 1 factorial like that 4 factorial plus 3 factorial won't give 7 factorial normal addition subtraction multiplication division rule is not possible for factorial notation ok now the next topic is permutation so, what is the meaning of permutation? Permutation means it is an arrangement. Arrangement of definite, arrangement in a particular order, in a definite order of a number of objects taken all or some at a time. That means in the first video we have discussed how to use the letters of the word R O S C, word rows and how many different words different four letter words are possible to write ok so there are I think there are 24 words possible so each one that is an arrangement we can change the uh, positions of these letters then s o e or r e o s so this, this is an arrangement so permutation means it is an arrangement in a particular order order is important these these three are different words hmm? with or without meaning whatever but these three are different not same so permutation means it is an arrangement in a definite order of number of objects here four objects are there we use all the four objects another one question using first ten letters of English alphabet how many four letter chords we can frame Hmm? A question in the first video. So, four letter chord. Ten letters are available. Then, how to write? The first place we can fill in by ten ways. Then, the next is nine ways. Then, eight ways. Then, seven ways. Isn't it? Here, we use only four letters. But, ten letters are available. Okay. So, permutation means it is an arrangement in a definite order of number of objects. Hmm? That number of objects taken all or some at a time. In this, all the four letters we used. But here, out of ten, we used only four letters. Okay. So, permutation means nothing but it is just an arrangement in a definite order. Order is important in permutation. And how many letters or digits are available? We can use all the letters or digits or sum at a time. Okay. Now, the first case is permutations when all the objects are distinct. Hmm? When all the objects are distinct. That is in this case. Here we have 10 First 10 alphabets are there. Hmm? First 10 alphabets. In that we use only 4. Okay. Then how to, 
how many four letter codes are possible so we found like this first uh, place we can fill in 10 different ways then nine different ways then eight different ways then seven different ways so generally how we write suppose if there are n objects if there are n objects taken r at a time r at a time and all these n objects are different okay permutations when all the objects are distinct so what is the number of permutations of n different objects taken r at a time hmm? how to find is there any method so for that we use the result that is theorem 1 we use the result like this n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into up to up to n minus r plus 1 when we multiply all these we get number of permutations for example this if 10 alphabets are there and we use four four alphabets how to write how many four letter codes are possible 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 that is n into here n is 10 and r is 4 so look this result 10 into 10 minus 1 then next is 10 minus 2 up to which we have to write 10 minus r what is r 4 plus 1 what is 10 minus 4 plus 1 10 minus 4 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 that is 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 ok so this is the result so now you have to learn this number of permutations of n different objects taken r at a time we have a notation also the notation is n p r p is capital n and r small letters n and r the position of r look the position of r this is n p r what do you mean by n p r number of permutations permutation means nothing but it is arrangement okay permutation number of permutations of n different objects taken r at a time it is same as this is a notation for that it is defined how it is defined it is same as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into up to up to n minus r plus okay clear number of permutations of number of arrangements of n different objects taken r at a time is denoted as npr that is equal to n into n minus 1 n minus 2 up to n minus r plus 1 here all the objects are distinct okay then and all the objects are distinct at the same time repetition not allowed okay in that 10 letters 10 alphabets 4 we can use and repetition not allowed if repetition is not allowed this is the formula ok if repetition is allowed then how we write that is theorem number 2 if repetition is allowed for example in the case of rows we can form a 4 letter word hmm? the first place we can fill in by 4 ways if repetition not allowed it is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is 24 words are possible like this method ok if repetition is allowed then how we have to write first place 4 ways second place 4 ways third place 4 ways fourth also 4 ways that is 4 raised to 4 so the theorem 2 says that the number of permutations of n different objects taken r at a time if repetition is allowed if repetition is allowed then n raised to r is it correct 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 that is 4 raised to 4 there n and r same ok so n raised to r this is the case when repetition allowed n is the number of objects r means number of objects taken r at a time how many we are using and the condition for r children condition for r is there that is 0 less than r less than or equal to n the value of r not more than n that is not possible ok the value of r is 
equal to n or less than hmm? understood so what do you mean by permutation permutation means it is an arrangement in a definite order of number of objects taken all or some at a time then the number of permutations of n different objects taken are at a time hmm? if the repetition is not allowed then it is denoted as npr and it is defined as n into n minus 1 n minus 2 up to n minus r plus 1 if repetition is allowed it is equal to n raised to r the condition for r is 0 less than r less than or equal to n then this values also you have to learn what is n p 0 that is here r value is 0 n p 0 and before that n p r this proof you do not want to learn it is deleted this proof so you have to learn only the result it is same as look npr that is f n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 up to n minus r plus 1 another way how we express that is same as factorial n by n minus r factorial okay when we simplify this we get the same result okay we can check how we get factorial n means 1 into 2 into 3 into up to n what is n minus r factorial means 1 into 2 into 3 into up to to n minus r so this r is anyway equal to or less than n so somewhere here we have this n minus r okay so this much you can cancel then what is left in the numerator n the number before that is n minus 1 n minus 2 like that after this n minus r what is the next number n minus r plus that is same as this n into n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus r plus 1 so just you have to learn how to write npr npr means number of permutations of n different objects taken r at a time that is equal to either you can use this n into n minus 1 n minus 2 up to n minus r plus 1 or factorial n by n minus r factorial ok then how to write np0 using this result np0 means factorial n by n minus 0 factorial that is factorial n by n factorial we can cancel it is 1 and what is npn factorial n by n minus n factorial that is factorial n by 0 factorial what is 0 factorial 1. So, n p n is equal to factorial n. Okay. So, these two you have to learn. n p 0 is 1. n p n is factorial n. 